Warner. Armed with a razor-sharp, oversized claw on its hind feet, this is the jackal of the Cretaceous period. Sir Ornithoides, a very smart reptile, its brain-to-body weight ratio is among the highest of any dinosaur. It's hungry, but it knows better than to take on a full-grown Coronosaurus. Not when there are easier targets. In its rush to eat, the thief doesn't get as far away from the enraged mother as it should. And it can smell its mistake. It's a Mexican standoff between two very different kinds of dinosaur. One has the speed and smarts of a carnivore, times larger. And that's exactly what the Sauronithoides is counting on especially when he's got backup. Eden's strategy give these small hunters the edge. great intelligence is any guarantee of safety from the kind of enemy that is now approaching. A few degrees hotter every second. Warning, only mounting heat. But not every dinosaur is baking alive. The microclimate of a cave can keep a handful of survivors cool enough to breathe. But it's a refuge that has to be shared, one that's already fraying at the edges. Eight thousand miles away in Mongolia, it seems the worst is over. The ravenous Sir Ornithoides can't resist the sight of an easy meal. It's the watering hole. One stays. As it hits, the Sir Ornithoides are small enough to crush. Huddled close to a Coronosaurus corpse, the Sauronithoidids were sheltered from the worst of the storm. But the sand has swallowed their meal. Instinct drives them back to their prime hunting spot. The Sauronithoidids are desperate for food, but they're weak from hunger and the buffeting of the sandstorm. Only one has the confidence to attack. Its prey is still too exhausted to run. This time, size does matter. <laughs> the remaining Sauronithoides moves in. 
but it has no intention of making a run at the Coronasaurus. Not when fate offers it a meal that can't fight back. Here in Mongolia, but it stays near the cave that has saved it twice in the past. The watering hole that doesn't fall victim to starvation. Activity. It collects invisibly in low-lying areas, like the water hole's natural basin. The gas paralyzes the lungs, making escape impossible. Then it kills by suffocation. The last dinosaur in this part of Mongolia is dead.